All right, welcome back to episode 35 of Divine Journey 2. Uh, I just loaded the world in, so it's actually lagging a little bit, but um, I'm back right where I left off pretty much. I did a little bit of Googling last night on the wiki, and I found that there is a way to remove the fluids from these. I think it's called a gauge dropper. Here it is, this thing. Um, all right, yeah. I'm going to make that right now. And I don't know how it works, actually, but we're going to see, I guess. Any glass panes. I should have left this on overnight because I need the sand to buffer back up again. I used, like, a ton of it recently. Okay, let's see how this thing works. So I think I got to click on the machine with it like this. Oh, yeah, there. See, it's, it's stored it. Okay, it's not a lot, though. <clears throat> how do I empty this now? Okay, let me check the wiki. Um, yeah, I still have it open. So left click will collect up to a thousand. Right click, um, sneak and left click will dump the entire tank and then right click will deposit it. So, okay, that's done. <clears throat> now if I hypothetically wanted to move this, which I do, I'll just put it right here for now because I don't really remember what I wanted to do with it. I could do that. Yeah, cool, and drop it on. Awesome. So now, um, go back to the quest tab. <clears throat> Need liquid ethylene and oxygen in here. Okay, how do I get the water out now? <laughs> Bro, I'm getting trolled so hard. All right, let's look it up. Oh, you know what maybe is the problem? There we go. Because I had the hydrogen in this dropper already, but then it was able to work once I took it out. Okay, so what am I condensing straighting? I want liquid ethylene. So ethylene goes to liquid ethylene. There we go, it was just stuck for some reason. Okay, so that's working. And then I want liquid ethylene and hydrogen, I believe, right? Or oxygen. I am dumb. So we can do this. And then I want blue, I want input to be here. <clears throat> that was probably the wrong input. Yeah, it was items. And then just try to put on gases just in case. So this doesn't seem to have an auto eject button. Let's just try one of these like this. Can I extract? I can. Cool, it goes right in. <clears throat> And then we also wanted oxygen, which is in here. So then gases bottom is input, so dark red. And then this on the right is output. There we go, it's going. This is full of oxygen. Okay, cool. So I put these in here now. Oh, that just sunk the power out of it because there is no power in it. Ooh, that's quick. I guess because the upgrades are good in it. All right, um, quest done. The energy upgrades are way better than the speed upgrades. These need an glass, so we'll take these. Put them in here. And then plastic sheets. I like crafting an enrichment chamber, and the latter is preferable as it's cheaper. And then use four of these to create one industrial foregoing plastic. Okay. So 
So let's just check the uses on these. The enrichment chamber goes to the high density polyethylene sheets. And then fluid transpose nutrient distillation into it to get plastic. Now, what is that? What is this thing? These recipes are not helpful. Okay, the vat. Water, <clears throat> sugar is a one time, mushrooms 1.5. Okay, we'll probably use another wart. Actually, what the fermented spiderized are pretty cheap, aren't they? Actually, I don't have mushrooms. So we use another wart and we'll throw in um, heads, it looks like. I just want to see them cycle back again so I can see which is best. So zombie heads are two times 750. <clears throat> Enderman heads are a little bit more. We'll use ender, ender heads because um, we should have a bunch of them. Yeah, a stack. <laughs> it's probably more than enough. And then we can throw in what well, I want sugar, I think, right? Yeah. I think you might need water as well. <clears throat> right, it's needed water. Yeah, it does. Okay. So we can probably um where'd my bowl go? I really can make just make another another random bowl. I should have more endervars. Yeah, I knew I made a whole bunch of extras. The um, the endervars, they used to be called reservoirs. They're really good. I always used to like using them in previous mod packs, but these bowls are like way better actually. Get me through. <clears throat> so extract, there we go. And now we're making it. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of a tank, just set of buffers over here. Actually, the tanks are over here. Okay, let's do that. So then the right is an output. Yeah, um, push. There we go. Well, we're getting that. And then um, we just need another fluid transposer. I do have one here. So we can use this. I don't think I've ever actually used these two things yet. The, I don't think I've ever used the magma crucible currently. It's going to be useful eventually, though. <clears throat> Let's throw another stack of these in. Okay, so these go in the enrichment chamber. Which that'll take one millisecond to complete. And we got HTTP. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna run up all this plastic and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We have one extra HTTP pallet, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. I moved the fluid transposer to here for now. And we can let this run. Do I have speed upgrades for this? I do. Yes, I do. We are getting our first plastic. Pretty fun process. We got a new manual. This is my favorite part. Oh man, this is cool. I've never seen this before. Yeah, I've never done laser drills before. We'll definitely read up on these. I don't know if these are worthwhile in this pack or if there's better if there's better ways to do it, you know? I'm sure the quest will guide me anyways. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here. <clears throat> now for my favorite part, let's add it to the Akashic Tome. Yes, look at my collection. I still don't know what is um worth looking at in here. One thing that's kind of cool is the potentiometer. It's kind of um it's a really interesting redstone like application. And it's so weird to me that it's in Draconic Evolution. Also the rain sensor, that's also interesting. That could we can make a system to just shut the rain off, because man, I'm tired of the rain. <clears throat> yeah, those feel like weird features for that mod, but they're very cool. That was quick. Um 18 plastic already. 
<clears throat> a whole bunch of unlocks after that. So first thing that we want to do is this thing, better plastic creation. Make a tree fluid extractor and a latex processing unit. So right now, we I don't think we can automatically place the... Um, I don't think we can automatically place the logs right now. Let's see if we can make one of these. I'm not, um, okay, I think we actually could. I was, I was not very sure if I could yet, but this actually seems um, all right. One of the issues that's coming up right now is that with all these machines running at once, the power system is really starting to strain. Like the, the HV wires are not enough. The, I'm pretty sure the Ender Energy Conduits are a little bit of an upgrade, but I don't know. I don't, I don't still don't even know if that's going to be enough for long term, you know? I think we are a little bit close to Elevadium. This is annoying, though. The Ender Pearl production has to be a lot better. I don't actually know if my um, looting times 10 has been improving the Ender Pearl production rate or not. Let's try to see. Not very noticeably. So we're definitely going to need some kind of end farm for those because we're going to need a lot of ender pearls. Actually, you know what we're going to get now? The um, the auto spawner. Actually, that's not the quest for it. Ooh, Lapa Fabricator. Okay, it does use a lot of RF, so pumping lava is still useful if you need it. Okay, yeah, these are good for tree farms. I do have I use these in the past. They're cool. They don't have the um, they don't have the mob farmer. I wonder if it's like I wonder if it's gated. Oh, it has a different name, but I know what it looks like. It's not called the auto spawner anymore. Weather builder. I've never used that before. Black hole controller. I want to know what that is. That sounds pretty epic. Where is the thing? Oh, is that it? Yeah, mob duplicator is what it's called. Empowered emeratic crystal block. Yeah, I don't think I have this yet. We're actually kind of close to this. <laughs> Yikes, it's a lot of black cords. Okay. Yeah, we're actually quite close to getting over to that, I think. Because the crystalline brown slime is coming up right here, actually. And then next chapter is elevate them. Yep, okay. So we're getting somewhere with that. So we actually are a little bit close to getting powered spawners. So we could specifically spawn mobs that we want. But still, it might be worth it to get all the extra mobs in there. Yeah, let's get working on these two things. So I definitely want the um, tree fluid extractor. Clean up a little bit. <clears throat> I kind of doubt any of this right now. Okay. And then the latex unit. So I need two Endarium gears. Um, and the machine cases. Okay. Yeah, let's get over to the A system. I made a whole bunch of Enderium in bulk a while ago, so just craft these gears up. I don't really foresee myself needing um, more of these Enderium gears right now, so we're just going to make only two of them for now. But it might be worthwhile to make more pl plastic processing in case we are using a lot of it. Okay, I need one of these. What am I missing for that? I need a device frame, diamond gears. I'm going to craft up both of these and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I made both of them. I was looking at some recipes over here. So these are both done. I can choose either speed upgrades or diamond gears. I don't know. See, I'll take speed upgrades. Yeah, that was a mistake. These are cheap. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of steps. They're both pretty cheap now that diamonds are less of a problem. All right, so in order to do this, 
So we need actually need a block placer. I wonder if this one's better to make. Ender alloy. Now we need osmiridium. So this isn't doable right now. We can make this one. Uh, let's try to run that up. I made um the recipe has these chiseled stones. I actually don't think those are necessary. Because um I hadn't made 63 of them because I was only able to make 63 chiseled stone in one thing. And then the regular stone worked. So I just got kind of trolled. Didn't I make like a whole load of droppers at some point and not was not able to use them? I feel like I remember that. Go back to that. Where did those go? I really don't know where they could have went. I actually have one idea. This chest. Oh, I made observers, not droppers. Okay. And it's not like these are hard to make anyways. All right, cool. Actually, I don't know if there's better trees for this thing to absorb or not. I guess we're going to find out. I'm just going to throw it over here for now. <clears throat> this is pretty much a... It's largely a temporary setup. Okay, with the tree fluid extractor, I want it to be something like this. Actually, the front got placed opposite of where I wanted it. So this is where the trees go. And I did the same thing for this. Like that. This needs power to place blocks. No problem. Okay, we're charging up. The tree fluid extractor actually doesn't need power. Okay, yeah. So it's getting latex very slowly. I'll just load this up with a lot of wood right now. We don't have a tree farm at this moment, but once as soon as we do, we can hook it up to this, and that could be infinite latex for free. All it needs is time. So now I want this to okay, latex tank. I want this to export. I don't know why an unknown problem occurred. I just do this. Okay, there, it's easy. And now to make it into the little latex balls, I think I need water in there. And then we can do like more rows of this because this is really slow. I think that the latex processing unit will definitely will be able to keep up with more than one of them. Okay, so what are the little latex pellets I need called? Tiny rubber. Um, let's throw a bucket of water in and see if it works. I have no buckets. Okay, let's do this. Yep, okay, just needed water. Say so this water's free. Keeping up with it. I wonder how many um, tree, tree suckers we need until this can't keep up anymore. Yeah, this is definitely way faster. But um, yeah, we're getting rubber now. So nine of these goes to one dry rubber, which goes to one plastic. So already it's going pretty quick. Let's get a... Don't I have any drawers? Oh, I have eight left. Not many. Running out of drawers. It's kind of a problem. So I want a drawer and I want an item conduit. Do I have them in here? No, I don't. Let's go grab some. I need to make a whole bunch more. I need to make more of all the conduits. Because they are so nice. Having these now feels so good. Oh, wrong thing. Um, we can put it on the bottom, actually. I mean, there's no point. This is also a temporary setup. Go like that. Extract, insert. Yeah, I just want the tiny rubber in there right now. Because I just want this to have a bigger buffer than is in here. Ooh, a place to block. We just saw it right in front of us. Let's go get a whole bunch of wood and just throw it all in there. Okay, 
We don't need all these on us. This bag has so much useless stuff in it. Let's take out a whole bunch of it right now, actually. Like, we don't need fluid ducts anymore. We don't need the transformer in here. It's useless now. I actually never even used it. We don't need this. Um, we don't need the arrows anymore. I have a random formulaic assemblicators. An igneous extruder. It's just a mess. I need to clean it thoroughly. Yeah, these, these weird items are not good. Not good to hold on to. Yeah, let's go break a whole bunch of trees. So hopefully, I don't know how much latex you get per tree. Or per log. But hopefully this will last for a while. Get that barrel filled up and then I can just make a whole lot of plastic one after I do some other things for a while. Yeah, we were done with plastic. That's pretty easy. Um, unlocking the better route for plastic was pretty easy, so... It was worthwhile to not make that a permanent setup, the original plastic automation. Okay, I gotta let this Valkyrie, I gotta let this thing heal. I don't want to break that axe, so we're just going to use our hand for this last couple trees. <clears throat> I wanted to determine a um, an organizational system as well for all the automation stuff because I usually get stuck in like a rut where I don't have like a good plan for where I'm going to put automate automation. So they just kind of looking ugly and I do not like that. So with these plots up here, I'm kind of getting an idea what to do maybe, I guess, where like I can section these plots into qu quadrants maybe and then um, have stuff in each quadrant. That's my best idea for right now, but I'm still not sure. And these areas can kind of just remain like big workshops where... I'm just kind of doing miscellaneous things in them. And then when I need to have a system permanent, we can go and put it somewhere else, I think. Let's refine a whole bunch of this. Which one is it? This one. Cool. Um, we got to compress some more diamond for that. Is there like a double compressed diamond you can make or something? Like, no. This goes in the enrichment chamber. Okay, yeah. Just let that run. All right. Now, making our way down into this ingot more. We need the mob slaughter factory. And yeah, this is used for liquid meat and liquid pink slime. Can okay, I get more plastic? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's just a craft, right? Yeah, it is. And then you smell this. That is so much easier. Should have turned the pipes off. There we go. Yeah, I assume we'll need more of this to do this stuff that I want to do. So this mob slaughter factory is going to take two of these enders, which that is pretty easy. Do I really not have slime? I know I had slime at some point. I went to the slime island. I, yeah, I had been to the slime island. Where did they all go? I guess maybe I used it all. It's kind of a lot. I feel like I feel like I got a lot of it though. 
Okay, what else do I need? I have this machine block in the middle. Yeah, these enhanced machine parts are painful. Yeah, we're gonna need more of them. Man, yeah. Honestly, it's steel blocks. Don't do me like this. All right, it did me like that. Was it lime green? Yeah, it was. Well, that's fortunate because we only had one cacti um, in there. <laughs> Ends up working perfectly. All right, nice mob slaughter factory done. Ooh, reinforced large drum. We take those. Okay, now the problem with this is that we need a whole bunch of more machines. You don't just make a mob slaughter factory. Hmm. You can use a mob farm for it, actually. Let me look up the mob slaughter factory and see what kind of outputs we're going to get. Because <clears throat> I was always under the impression you had to kill um, regular animals, like passive mobs. Oh yeah, so cows and pigs give 50, 50 MB of liquid meat and 10 MB of pink slime. That's why it's better than um, that's why it's better than killing mobs with it. Okay. So now the only thing is that to get cows and pigs, cows or pigs, you need a whole bunch of other machines from this mod. Probably, I think it's a mob breeder or the mob. I don't know what it's called. Let me just look and bookmark them. Animal feeder, animal baby separator. That's what we want. <laughs> this makes like a really cruel system, which I love. It's so hilarious. Um, we're gonna need another one of these. This is so painful. I really need the auto crafting system to make these because they're really bad. This this die is so hard to make. It's mostly because of the um it's mostly because of the Ender Pearl bottleneck right now, actually. That's the main that's really the main issue. Because if Ender Pearls were infinite, we would be able to just make like infinite grains of physicality or whatever because this is not this is easy iron is basically free at this point if we can just set up an excavator which we still have that other excavator over there which has a lot more time to go so yeah, it's pretty much not a problem oh put all this in the new in the a system And by the way, we can make one of these probably. I just gotta go get a piece of grass. We'll also need a small wheat farm as well for this setup. Okay, animal feeder is done. All we need is the animal baby separator. It's kind of a mean recipe. It's a lot of plastic, but <clears throat> we will be able to do that. Uh, I might just take a hot minute. Yeah, we got to wait on a whole bunch more plastic. Until then, we can actually set this place up. I think it would make the most sense to put it on this wing of the base over here. Maybe even an extension to this room. Because this is sort of where the animal automations are all are located currently. So let's do that. 
I actually didn't have as many building materials in my bag as I thought I did. But I should have a lot of basalt. I went on a run. Yeah, I went on a big basalt run recently. I found a really big lava lakes, and I just kind of went to town with my brand new tools. The uh, the new tool upgrades made that a lot more fun. I just like was able to get all the basalt without my pickaxe breaking a single time. Should have done that a while ago, actually. Okay, I think I'll keep the thick boy wall just so that Cyclops don't kill these guys still. But um, how big a room we're gonna need? What is the radius of this thing? Was there a quest explaining the um, range add-ons? No, there's speed. I didn't know these had speed upgrades. How bad are these? Not that bad. The Mithril and Dark Steel are a bit annoying, but it's going to be worth it. Especially, I don't think we need that many of these. At least currently, not many. We're not quite there yet. We gotta do the um we gotta do the mobs first. Oh look at this, there's a whole thing here. Set up an automatic tower pig farm with the machines listed on the right. I actually recommend two of these. And an animal grower. Okay, I see how this is. I see how this is setting up with the two, with two baby separators. You can have one that filters the babies out, and that filters the the, the babies out when they grow up, out again. So that makes sense. We can do that. Um, before some stupid shit happens, you guys are gonna block this off. That will work for now. I'm actually gonna need two of these then. And which one was the animal baby? Okay, it was these ones. When do I get the mega torches? Okay, we need more. We can we can do the grains of physicality right now. There's another one. <laughs> the pumpkin collection. All right, side mill these. How are these things doing? Still filling. And then we can make enough of this dye blend to hopefully make one more. <laughs> it's a whole stack of ender pearls per enhanced machine chassis. These things are nuts. Of course, though, Ender Pearls are going to be very cheap very soon, so whenever I feel like it, I can just not worry about it anymore. Make like eight of these, so I don't have to worry about them again. Okay, nice. Uh, two animal beef separators are almost ready. Just need a bit more plastic. Five more, actually. Did I have more being made in here, maybe? Oh, I did. I hope it's three. It's not. I think we might be able to get enough right now and not have to not have to AFK and we can just keep going. Oh yeah, that's enough. Alright, cool. I think I remember this recipe. It was um 
Either two iron or two redstone. I don't remember. Probably two iron. Yep. And then how many do I need? Four. Okay. Um, I hope I don't have leads. No, I did not. Like, it's not like they're hard to make, though. I do need more plastic, though. We were close. We were very close. What else do we need before um, we move forward? Adult filter. <clears throat> so I guess um, the adult filter makes that it filters with only adults. So if you're using a mob slaughter factory, baby cows give exactly as much pink slime as adult ones. The second pen isn't technically needed. However, if you're using a mob crusher, it is necessary for adult cows to grow up before granting them their demise. Okay, so we are using the um, mob slaughter factory. Okay, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't remember needing a second baby breeder or baby separator. So, yeah, let's get over here. You can break this again. The cow chamber. The baby separator, um, how big is its range? The default area is one by two by one in front, which can be expanded with range add-ons. So we're definitely gonna need Definitely gonna need some of those. So it could accept up to five. Oh, look at this. Max tier five. Yeah, we'll bookmark that, we'll make that. And then I assume that we'll increase it by five? I don't know. What does it tell me? Yeah, I don't know. But we'll have something like this. This will see the um, animals. And this will feed the animals. And then this will kill the animals on the other side. Okay, why do some of these place weird when I place them? There we go. Yeah, something a little bit like that. And of course, there's going to be a wall here. Okay, and then um, I should chop this too. These are some of the trees that were planted by me forever ago. They never harvested because I started doing the other trees that were better. And then um, I'm just, we just need a little block like this. I could do like some glass or something there maybe instead of a wall like this. And even so this room doesn't actually need to be this as big as I have it right now. Like it could be um one forward like this. Because it's just it's it, it's instantly slaughtering the baby animals, so yeah, it could just be a little chamber like this, even. So all this can go. And then the walkway is preserved. Yeah, I like that. And even this chamber doesn't need to be as big as it is right now. We could just pack the animals into a small space. Perfectly ethical. I 
Oh, yeah, this will work perfectly. I just need to get cows in here, and then it'll be perfect. This is this is actually nicer because I this leaves me a little space for maintenance in the back here, so I can dig down and run wires and stuff. <clears throat> and also get us both um, the mob slime and the um, pink slime. I'm pretty sure, or like the the liquid meat. I think I get in the pink slime. Both of which are good. So yeah, I'm going to finish setting up the system and I'll be back whenever I'm ready to show it off. Alright, I'm back and I have pink slime now. So we'll set that down. Um, I already tested when you put it down, they it congeals over a little bit of time. So while that's, while that's going, let's go and check out what I did. So the one main thing that I did was make this cow farm. I completed it. It's pretty much exactly how I had it set up. Um, range upgrade plus, plus one there, plus two there. Power coming in from over there. I made a wheat farm. For now, it's only wheat, but um, this could be changed if I need more crops, which I probably will. So, yes, looking out, it's turning out to be pretty good. And I want this to, to transform already. I got six of this so far from killing two of them. But yeah, we definitely want more than six. While we're waiting, let's look for mithril. Don't have a we don't have a lot of it. Are you kidding me? All right, nice. First pink slime. The reward is 12 plastic. That's not really good anymore because the system is really efficient. Need a little more inventory space than I have right now. But yeah, we can we are making a lot of rubber. I'm wondering if like a condensing drawer or in, you know you know what I'm talking about. The ones that automatically craft items would be better there than this one. It might make the dry rubber automatically. And then we wouldn't need we wouldn't need a crafting uh, machine. It would just be automatically done in the drawer. This one has taken forever. I'm glowing. I don't know, but I just got a little I got a little detoured. Um so yeah, we got our first pink slime ingots. And from here, <clears throat> it seems like this has opened up. Oh, new new machine casing. <laughs> Man. Interesting. So that, that opened up. Um This is looking interesting over here. But for now, I think we're gonna take a break. I've been playing a lot today, so I will see you guys tomorrow.